Welcome back to your favorite, back again with another video, I'm back with another wrestling related video and in this video I am giving my Money in the Bank 2020 pay-per-view predictions, Money in the Bank is live on pay-per-view this Sunday night, live from the Performance Center and it's the most unique, Money in the Bank, whatever, they, they say it so, so much. This whole Money in the Bank thing about the climb the corporate ladder and stuff, at first I didn't think it was that bad, but now like they're making it so hokey and it's like, so both matches are going to take place at the same time. And basically somebody's getting thrown off the roof. It's going to happen. It's literally going to happen. I don't know. Like, it's really, really weird. And if they're really fighting on the roof, that's so weird, but kind of so cool. Like, I don't know. But they, I feel like they're going to make it so hokey and so weird and bizarre and all that. And I feel like WWE is kind of leaning into, you know what? We're not real. Like, I feel like they're doing that because... All these years, I feel like it's always a justification for anything they do where it's like, well, this could happen because of this. This could happen because of that. But here, in this year, 2020, the stuff they doing, like the Firefly Funhouse, there's no way around that. You can't explain that to nobody and be like, oh, yeah, this is still legit. Um, even if, like, if you wanted to play kayfabe, there's no way to do it with the Firefly Funhouse match. And I know a lot of people liked it, but... It's just the truth. And, uh, uh, what's it called? The, uh, Boneyard match. I mean, that one is a little bit more realistic except the part where, um, Undertaker was inside the grave, inside the ground, and then he just appeared behind. Uh, this match in particular, when someone falls off the roof, I mean, what are you gonna do? Someone's gonna fall off the roof is just like, oh, well, we're not real, so it doesn't really matter, so we can do this. I don't know, it's, just, it's weird. It's very, very weird. I feel like they just don't care this year. Like, WWE just don't care. The rest of the show, um, matches aren't that bad. Like, I can't judge this card too much. I really like the Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre match, and I feel like it could go either way. So, I'm really excited for that match. Braun Strowman and The Fiend. To be honest, y'all, I'm kind of over The Fiend. Like, he, like, a lot of people like him so much, but I just don't. I just don't get it because... Maybe it's because of the Firefly Funhouse and I wasn't a fan of it at all, but I don't know. I'm just not really into the feet. And of course, Braun Strowman, like, I don't really care about him being the world champion. That's... Bailey bores me as champion. Becky don't even have a match. I don't think any of the mid-card titles, Intercontinental or US, are even defended. Um, but I can't be too harsh on the card. It's fine. I'm definitely going to watch the show, and I'm excited to watch the show. Starting off with the first match, we got the SmackDown Live Tag Team Title match. It's a Fatal 4-Way a tag team match featuring the New Day putting their titles on the line against the Forgotten Sons, Lucha House Party, and Miz and Morrison. I am actually predicting that the New Day will win. I hope that they win. I don't want the title to flip flop so fast. Uh, I feel like the New Day just won it. They didn't win it at WrestleMania, and WrestleMania wasn't that long ago, so they've only had it for weeks, not even a month. Uh, I, I can't not mention my boy or my team, my favorite in WWE. The Usos are injured for basically the rest of the year, and that sucks. That really sucks. I'm so upset about that. My prediction inside this match is that the New Day will retain. The next match I'm going to talk about is the SmackDown Live Women's Match. Women's Championship Match, I'm sorry. It is Tamina versus Bayley. And, I mean, Tamina's probably... Oh my god, can I say this on camera? Oh, let's just say I'm not the biggest fan. I'm pretty sure no one's the biggest fan. I wonder who is the biggest fan of Tamina. Like, I remember I was watching an interview with somebody um, on the internet, a wrestler that was coming up. It was a female wrestler, too. I didn't know much about her, but I was watching her interview, and, like, they asked her her dream match, and she said Tamina. And I was like, if I, if I became a fan of you inside this interview, it all went away because your dream match, you can have a match with anybody and you want to match with Tamita, who's possibly the worst women's wrestler inside WWE right now. And I mean, it's just somebody has to be worse. Somebody has to be the worst. And I think Tamina really is the worst. And she's been the worst for a while. And she's just not very really good at anything, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but it's just, that's just my opinion. But Bailey, I'm not really, I don't know. I'm, I haven't really been that big a fan of her character, but her in-ring work is always good. Bailey's awesome when it comes to that. And I'm predicting and hoping that Bailey wins this match. Uh, the next match that we're going to talk about is the Universal Championship match. It's Braun Strowman putting this title on against Bray Wyatt, and I think it's going to be the regular Bray Wyatt, which is why I think that Braun Strowman will retain the title. I can see it being a DQ where Bray actually wins or a count out or a double count out, anything like that. But my prediction of who will walk away with the title is Braun Strowman. However, how do I think the match is going to end? My prediction for that, I've, 
Uh, maybe a no contest, double double count out, double the match gets tossed out some type of way, something like that. That's my prediction for this match. I just think that Braun Strowman will leave with the championship because I think Bray Wyatt is going to win it as the fame. The next match is the match that I'm probably the most looking forward to when it comes to in-ring work. They've done a really good job building this up. It is Drew McIntyre, who is probably the best face champion since... Daniel Bryan, he's the best face WWE champion since, like, it's been a while. Possibly Cena, Cena or Daniel Bryan. Um, and he's going up against Seth Rollins, who is on fire. He's been on fire for years. Seth Rollins is awesome, amazing. When you think of WWE at this point, he's really the 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 man. He's the guy. Is he the one that says the guy? No, when Moran says the guy, Dean Ambrose said to do, so he's the man. <laughs> I am the man. So I think Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre will tear it down, will burn it down. And my prediction for the winner, um, I can definitely see Seth Rollins winning. I definitely, definitely, definitely can see Chris, uh, Seth Rollins winning. I can see Seth Rollins taking the title and then Drew winning it back at SummerSlam so it's in front of a, a crowd. Should I predict that? I really don't think Seth is going to win, though. But I can see it happening. Because Drew will get a win in front of a crowd. But Drew is just on a roll. He's such a good champion. Why would you want to take that away? No. So I'm going to predict that Drew McIntyre gets the win. I just talked myself into that. Because I definitely can see Seth Rollins winning. But I feel like Drew is on a roll right now. Everyone's into him. But I guess they can't really tell. WWE can't tell because they don't have an audience. But I'm predicting that. Drew McIntyre will retain, and I hope he does too. So the last match is the Money in the Bank, climb the corporate ladder crap. Um, women and men fighting at the same time. I think it's going to be very hokey. I think the camera's going to be cutting all over the place. It's going to be very, very weird. Uh, as far as the winners, um, or winner, I don't know. For the women, I actually haven't thought of this. But I'm, I'm thinking that the guys will be AJ Styles. I didn't even name everybody inside the match. I'm sorry, y'all. I have to bring out my paper because I don't know who's inside this match. So inside the match for the women, we got Asuka, Shayna Baszler, Carmella, Dana Brooke, Lacey Evans, and Nia Jax. For the men, we got my boy Daniel Bryan, Aleister Black, Baron Corbin, Otis, Rey Mysterio, and AJ Styles. So I think, first of all, something weird is going to happen to Otis. Uh, because why would they put him inside this match if it wasn't? So maybe he's falling off the corporate uh, building or whatever. Something's happening. Somebody's falling off. And I'm predicting it's probably Otis because why else would you put him inside the match? Um, who can survive a, a fall like that? But they have to make it so hokey to so where you fall off and then you fall onto something. Like, I don't know what he would fall on. But my prediction for the man, I think AJ Styles is going to get it. I think AJ Styles gets it. He can cash in on Drew. Whoever gets is going to have to cash in. Well, I think the women's match is definitely getting a Raw winner. And I think that the men's match, I feel like it's probably getting a Raw winner too. because Or a winner from Raw too. Because they have to cash in on Drew. They can't cash in on The Fiend. They can't. So, I'm... And I think The Fiend is eventually getting the title again. That's why I'm saying, like, The Fiend instead of Braun Strowman. So, I think AJ Styles gets it. I can see Aleister Black getting it, but I just don't see him holding it. So, that's why I'm not predicting him. But if Aleister Black gets it, that would be a great heel turn. If Aleister Black cashed in on Drew McIntyre, thus turning Aleister Black heel, and then we get a program with Aleister Black and Drew McIntyre, that would be awesome. But I'm going with AJ Styles. I got to go with the safe bet. I feel like he's, he's already heel. He's... I wouldn't mind Rey Mysterio winning either, but he just can't cash in on anyone. It's weird. Uh, as far as the women goes, I haven't really thought of this at all. I think the winner is going to be from Raw because Becky Lynch said on Raw, or they announced that Becky Lynch is going to confront the Money in the Bank winner on Raw. And I know that in the graphic they had the SmackDown women and the Raw women inside of it, but I just feel like the winner is going to be from Raw. And I don't really even remember who won last year. Did Brock Lesnar win just last year? So he was from Raw and then... Oh, Bailey was from SmackDown, so okay, okay they've been doing one and one each year, or, or at least last year they did. But um, from Raw, I, I think honestly, Oscar just had many shots at the title. So I just, I, as much as I love Oscar, I just don't see her winning it. But but she would be a legit winner. But then so would Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. But I kind of feel like Nia Jax is the best bet to win this. But then what the heck would Shayna Baszler do on the main roster if she wasn't champion? It's so difficult because maybe the winner should... No, SmackDown is going to be with the Bayley-Sasha thing. That They're the champions for the rest of this year. 
Raw is so difficult because I feel it won't be Oscar. Oscar, Shayna Baszler, and Nia Jax, those are three strong women who all need to be in the title picture, but they all already lost. Well, except Nia. So I feel like Nia would be the best bet to get the title or to get the briefcase. But maybe Nia should have a one on one match. So maybe hey, Nia versus Becky one on one, and then Shayna gets the case. But if. The two that don't win the briefcase, I just don't get what they would be doing on Raw. It's so weird. I think my prediction is going to be Nia? I don't even know if Nia go climb all the way to the top of the ladder. And I'm not saying that because of, you know, nothing. I'm just saying just because she don't really even go to the top rope. So can I even see her all the way up there getting the title on top of the dang building? I don't know. I think I, I, I should probably go with Shayna. I don't know who would have this. I have, this is my first time thinking of it and breaking it down, but... If they don't win, if Shayna don't win, what would she be doing? If Oscar don't win, what would she be doing? But they probably seem to care the least amount about her. If Nia doesn't win, what would she be doing? But I feel like Nia could probably justify getting a one-on-one -on -one match with Becky because she hasn't lost to her yet. So maybe Nia goes with Becky, then it's down to Shayna and Oscar. Who do who? Oscar already lost so many times. Shayna only lost once. So maybe Shayna's the one. But I feel like, why wouldn't they just let Shayna win at Armania? I, I, I'm going to go with Shayna Baszler getting the win. I'm so surprised I'm going with her, but I guess Shayna. I hope I don't regret that. I can definitely see Shay, uh, somebody, two people being at the top of the ladder and uh, Asuka blowing the mist inside their face or spraying the mist in their face. That would be pretty cool, seeing them fall from the ladder. But that's it. And how the heck is this match going to work? How is both of them going to take place at the same time? It's going to be cam so many camera cuts and so goofy and ridiculous. Maybe I should do a live stream. Would y'all watch it if I did a live stream of Money in the Bank? I don't know. Because I normally watch a live stream of Money in the Bank. Like a live stream of somebody else on YouTube. So would y'all watch me? I don't know. I know it's an idea, but leave y'all predictions inside the comment section down below. And until next time, y'all, maybe I'll do a review of the show. I actually did a review of WrestleMania, and I never even posted it. So I say I'm going to do a review, then I just... Uh, if y'all want to see that review of WrestleMania, let me know. Make sure you leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all forms of social media. And until next time, catch y'all later.